Hi everyone, it's Charlie. How you doing? I'm uh, gonna revisit a, uh, a video I did. And no, I'm not a priest with the collar. This is one of my band shirts, so... Um, I just wanted to, uh, like I said, I'm gonna revisit a, a piece that I've done about three, four years ago, maybe. You know, time is, you know, math is not my thing. Uh, the Open Window by H.H. H. Munro Saki. I want to start off by saying... It, when I did the first video, it was not what I would hoped it would be. It was not my best. And every time I'm doing anything, I like to give 110. That day I was probably giving about 99%. So, we all get a bad shot here and there. And, uh, you know, there were some comments that were a little, I'm going to just say childish, but, you know, timestamp, whoever did that, clever. Um, immature, but clever. So, uh, I want to uh, revisit this and just give you what I feel. And after rereading it again, after several years, so take, I was, you know, I'm probably going to still be where I'm at, where I was in that old video. Please don't watch it. I castrated it, so. But anyway, um, we have a character. His name is Frampton Nuttle. Uh, it's a very short story, by the way. Two pages, if, if that. Very accessible. Um, it's... It's it's hard actually. It's I want to I want to say it's accessible, but it's not at the same time for me at least. Um, he uh, Frampton Nuttle. Apparently he has some kind of ailment. It doesn't really say. So I have to go on the assumption that he's maybe hallucinating. Maybe he's uh, got something called consumption. This was obviously written back. You know I don't know the exact date, but it was written back a long time ago and. Um, you would have to, you know, if you, if you live past 75, God bless you, man. Hey, he's getting up the hill. But anyway, um, you look at the name Nuttel, N-U-T-T-E-L. And I know I said this in my other shunned video, but, um, it makes you wonder, was that done on purpose? Was that a pun? Was that, was that just, or was that just a complete, you know, first thing that Monroe thought of? So, you read through it, and he's going to, uh... Residents, they have a French, uh, what they call a French window, beautiful, from if you ever saw them in person, but, um, and it's, she, he, he goes to visit them, I guess he's supposed to be seeing other people, and, again, I don't, it doesn't say that he's suffering some, from what, what he's actually suffering from, he could be suffering from nothing, I, I don't know, but, uh, this was also the time where people were thrown in institutions for having a cold, but anyway, what happened was there was an accident, a uh, hunting accident, if you will, or some kind of tragedy that occurred. And this open window was left open for a good amount of time during the day, I think until dusk, and then they would shut the window. This is something you can actually walk through, not just like um, a window where you have to crawl through, you could just walk through it. And I, I still agree with what I said in my other shun video, I'm going to call it a shun video, um... It was, is that a portal to another dimension? Is that just, I, I don't know. I really don't know. My degree is in English, and I had a hard time with this. So, um, apparently, they do, he was visiting these people on the third anniversary of their passing. Their, they went missing. They went hunting. Uh, it was called snipe shooting or whatnot. Um, there were three people and a little cocker spaniel. Um, apparently they walk right back in. Mr. This Mr. Frampton Nuttle is going on about his ailments, about, oh, maybe the diet isn't working, or maybe this isn't that, or uh, just going on, and it, like kind of like me right now, but, um, just, you know, I don't know, is he postal? And I don't mean that in a disgusting, negative way, but is he postal? But what happens is, again, being this the, the third anniversary, he's there on the day it happened, um, apparently these people walk right in as if, you know, it, it was, I don't know how to, that's the part I can't dissect because the, there's a niece, I believe she's the niece, um, yes, uh, they're all, oh, well, we leave it open for them to come in and, uh, you know, it's been, you know, and they, she explains to them what happens. So when he, when these people actually do walk in through that French window, 
and the little cocker spaniel. He gets up, hightails it out of there. He he actually just just he's done. It's done. So um, the very last line is romance at short notice was her specialty. That was the niece. Um, when they first came into that window or that portal, whatever you want to call it. Um, the niece, I believe, was originally shocked. She was unsure. But now she's, oh, as if nothing happened. Like, this is something that happens on a daily basis. So, so um, with that, I, uh, that's the, uh, my take of the, excuse me, my version. What I feel about the open window. Like I said, uh, the first, my first attempt at this was not really that good. This one, I think I did a little better, bit better. So, um... Again, I want to say it's accessible, but it's hard. You know, it's all the pieces are there, but you just got to put them together. And I'm not that good at puzzles anymore. So um, for this, uh, that's this episode. And as Josh would always say, for now, keep reading.